If you've enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for notifications on new videos. Let's, Let's go. go! There are hundreds of moons in our solar system, but what is a moon? A moon is an object that orbits a planet or something else that is not a star, such as dwarf planets and large asteroids. Objects that orbit other objects are also sometimes called natural satellites. There are hundreds of moons in our solar system orbiting planets, but only one of these moons calls our planet Earth home. Earth's only natural satellite is simply called the Moon. This is because people didn't know other moons existed until Galileo Galilei discovered four moons orbiting Jupiter in 1610. In Latin, the moon is called Luna, and that's its secondary name. There are many theories of how our moon was formed, such as the early moon was possibly wandering and possibly dragged into our orbit. Or another theory is that billions of years ago, a Mars-sized planet called Thea crashed into the very hot early Earth, causing trillions of tonnes of debris to go into our orbit. Then over time, this debris formed to be our moon. Two million years ago, our moon was once covered in an ocean of magma. But today, apart from traces of ice water, the surface is completely rocky and covered in dust. The surface is also covered in craters, each formed by meteorite and asteroid collisions. Our moon is the fifth largest moon in our solar system. And on our moon, the temperatures vary drastically. Near the moon's equator, it can spike to 121 Celsius in the daytime, then plummet at night to minus 133 Celsius. In the deep craters near the moon's poles, permanent shadows in these craters keep the surface even colder and have recorded temperatures of minus 246 Celsius. The size of our moon is approximately 2,159 miles across, making its diameter slightly smaller than the width of China or 27% the size of Earth. Our moon is also 238,855 miles away. That's roughly 30 Earths away. Our moon rotates at the same rate that it revolves. So as it orbits our planet, the same side of the moon always faces Earth at all times and our moon travels around our planet every 28 days. The moon makes Earth a more livable planet by moderating our home's planet wobble on its axis, leading to a relatively stable climate. It also causes tides due to its gravitational pull. Our moon has been observed for thousands of years and even formed the early basis of calendars. In the past, the only way we could study the Moon was by observing it from Earth. However, on the 20th of July, 1969, the American spaceflight mission Apollo 11 made its first trip to the Moon, and it is the only celestial body we've ever visited as humans. In total, 24 humans have visited the Moon. Earth's Moon is the brightest and largest object in our night sky. However, the moon doesn't emit light itself. The moonlight we see is actually the sun's light reflected off the moon's surface. So as the moon orbits the Earth, the sun lights up different parts of it, making it seem as if the moon is changing shape. In actual fact, it's just our view of it that is altering. From the Earth, we can observe eight distinct stages of illumination that are traditionally recognised, and these are called lunar phases. These are the full moon, waxing gibbous moon, 
first quarter moon, waxing crescent moon, new moon, waning crescent moon, last quarter moon, waning gibbous moon, and then the cycle goes back and repeats itself. And that was the end of today's video. We hope you enjoyed learning all about the moon with us today and learnt some new facts. We hope to see you again next time. Bye bye. Hello, if you enjoyed today's video, please like, subscribe and click the bell icon for notifications on new videos. Bye bye.